Hey, welcome back. I'm continuing with my model gasifier research. In a previous video, I made a model gasifier that had a real rudimentary air supply, and uh, then I tried to measure airflow with a couple of fans, and now I'm getting serious. Okay, this is my setup. So, um, some obvious pieces here. First of all, there's a brushless DC blower. This is just a 12 volt blower and uh, attached to it is a 3D printed part that I made and what this part is inside where we can't see is uh, there's a constriction. There's a, a Venturi formation in here, a shape like a Venturi and what that means is when air is flowing through here there's a lower pressure at this point in the tube than there is at this point in the tube. So we can calculate quite accurately the flow through the tube if we know the diameter of the tube at the narrowest point, the diameter of the tube at the widest point, and the pressure differential between them. The pressure differential we're sensing with this uh, MPX5010, uh, it's a pressure sensor, it's a differential pressure sensor, so it has two ports. So we're not, uh, we're not measuring gauge pressure, um, we're measuring the pressure difference between here and here. So uh, that's all pretty straightforward and it's run by this Arduino, obviously. And um, there's not a heck of a lot more than that. So all that's happening is there's, uh, there's some power coming in from a power supply for 12 volts. This is connected to my computer for 5 volts and so I can get serial data out. Uh, the Arduino does everything. There's a um, ULN uh, 2003, uh, a bunch of Darlington transistors just to amplify the signal from the, uh, from, the, from the Arduino and make it big enough to drive the fans. There's two of these MPX5010s. Uh, this, uh, there's, a, there's another channel over here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull its power so we don't have to listen to that right now. Um, the, the whole reason to do this as a dual unit is because this allows me to supply a known ratio of air. Um, so what that means is I can say, for example, I want one liter per minute out of this uh, fan here, and I can say I want two liters per minute out of this fan here. I can say I want, I want the ratio to be two to one. And uh, the system will measure the airflow and try to compensate for whatever restriction might happen and, uh, and overcome the restriction and, and maintain that constant airflow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start it all up. So I'll give the Arduino 5 volts and I'm going to give the uh, 12 volts to the overall system. It has to calibrate initially, so it finds the uh, zero point of the pressure sensor. The, uh, these pressure sensors aren't perfectly calibrated. Uh, each one has kind of quite a different zero value. So this, uh, this is the set point knob. It allows me to determine what fixed pressure ratio I want in my primary fan. All this source code you can get off GitHub. So right now I've asked it to maintain a very low speed, very low airflow. And uh, it has used a closed loop sort of control system with a, a software version of a PID. First of all, I can change the set point. I can, I can turn it up for lots more air. I can turn it way up. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with it quite low, just to sort of show you what's going on here. So this is a, uh, here's a ball of steel wool. So I'm just going to use it to kind of partially restrict the airflow. And you can, you'll only be able to hear this, but you can hear the, uh, the fan speeds up to compensate. So if I restrict it more, the fan speeds up to compensate. And when I remove the restriction, uh, the fan uh, spins down as well. So I can even restrict it really quite severely and it will attempt to keep that, uh, keep that pressure, uh, keep the flow constant regardless of the pressure required. 
So this is done so that uh, inside my gasifier, the column that's being gasified can vary quite significantly. And the resistance to airflow can vary quite significantly. And uh, you need to be able to maintain that airflow regardless of the restriction in your column. And more importantly, you also need the secondary airflow where you're combusting the fuel you generate. You need that ratio to similarly be controlled. So what this is, is this device lets me set the ratio of, uh, you know, secondary combustion air to primary combustion air and, and have those flow rates may, uh, be maintained quite accurately regardless of changes in the restriction to airflow. So I'm just going to reset this here and I'm going to reconnect the second fan. Okay. So first it does a little calibration, finds the zero point, takes a second or two. So now the, uh, now the device is trying to maintain the two airflows. So I've asked it to uh, maintain about, uh, one and a half times the airflow in the secondary as, as in the primary. And both of them know how to compensate for restriction. And uh, they can do that independently of each other. So I'm really hoping this will be a uh, air supply for a gasifier that's uh, quite reliable and allows fuel flexibility and also uh, very low emissions. So key in the gasifier is to burn very cleanly with a very accurately controlled measure of fuel to air. And that's what this is all about. You can find the code in the description. Next is I'm gonna try to hook this thing up to my model gasifier and try to plug up all the leaks and see what it does. So subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see that. Onward toward clean power. Thanks for watching.